very much for taking time to come over and visit with me. I'm Ron Fritz's Cooking again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Sunday. So I reckon it's time for another Sunday cook, y'all. And guys, what I want to prepare for y'all tonight is going to be something that's going to be really tasty. It's going to be just pure down-home flavor. And to me, it, it, it's sort of like having uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas rolled into one, guys. And what I'm going to make y'all tonight is, guys, I, I went out and I got myself up. Uh, we got a brand new Costco here, guys, and I'm loving that place. And they do these rotisserie chickens for $4.99 every day. And they're three-pound birds, guys. I did the math on that, man. It's cheaper for me to go buy a bird from them to make one at home, guys. I'm here to tell you. But uh, anyway, guys, if y'all remember Friday, I did up some of my cornbread. I showed you how I make my cornbread. And we actually utilized uh, the Moss uh, Yellow Cornbread uh, Self-Rising Cornmeal. And uh, basically what I did was I made that up. And then what I did, I actually made two batches. I only showed it making it once, but I made two batches and then I took and I kind of cut my, my cornbread up a little bit and I kind of cubed it up. And I took some, I, I bought croissants from them too, man. I get like 12 of these huge croissants for like $5.99. But uh, anyway, guys, I took like, I took four of those and I kind of cu uh, cut them up a bit too. And what I did was I laid them out in a pan and I actually toasted them. But before I toasted them, guys, I actually uh, mixed up like a, uh, probably about, I'd say, Say about a cup of butter and uh, mixed in some garlic and some onion powder and some poultry seasoning guys and oh my god it just gives it so much flavor and so what I did was I kind of drizzled it over the top and I baked it off on a, on a cookie sheet guys and I'm here to tell you man it's some good stuff guys it's gonna be chock full of flavor guys so what I want to make for y'all tonight is my mother's dressing the way my mom taught me how to make it guys and uh, we're gonna be adding a little bit of celery and onions we're gonna saute that off first you can put it in raw but I think it's better if you saute it off in a little bit, bit of butter and oil guys and we're actually going to use just uh, one box of the the craft stovetop uh, stuffing mix the cornbread mix just for the uh, the little packets of seasoning that they have in there guys I love that stuff and guys if you look real close here you'll see uh, I've got I had the vacuum sealer out again guys and this is an actual video guys where I did sweet potato casserole that's mama's sweet potato casserole I did that 2 11 16 guys so that stuff is you know it's uh, several months old but I guarantee it's gonna taste like the day I uh, the day I made it it's, it's really fresh and vacuum sealed guys but uh, anyway guys I'm hoping you're gonna enjoy this uh, basically it's just gonna be like some down-home eats like I said uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and everything throw it into one so uh, let me get busy, and I'm going to get right back with you. All right, you guys, I've got approximately uh, probably about three or four tablespoons of uh, real butter and some olive oil in there, and I kind of heated it up and turned the, turned the butter just a little bit brown. I think it actually gives it a lot of flavor. And uh, basically, we're ready to go ahead and get our celery in. And this is roughly, I don't know, probably about a cup or so, and uh, maybe a little over a cup and probably about five or six stalks. And this is about a cup of onions, maybe a little over. Probably about a good size medium onion here, finely diced. All right, guys, let's get that on up into the mix. All right, guys, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're just gonna sweat these dudes down, guys. We're not gonna, we're not gonna fry them off or anything. We're just gonna sweat them down a little bit. All right, guys. All right, guys, we're ready to get started with my homemade stuff in here, my cornbread stuffing with a little bit of uh, fresh croissant in there, guys. And what we did, we did up uh, two uh, black iron skillets, uh, made up two batches of uh, cornbread with my Moss Yellow Cornbread uh, Self-Rising Mix there, guys. And what I've done here, guys, I've taken roughly about a cup of onions and about a cup of uh, celery, melted it down with a little butter and oil. So I want to go ahead and introduce this in here. This is a piece of cake, guys. And that's the flavor right there, guys, doing it up with that butter. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, guys. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the uh, the Kraft stovetop cornbread mix. I like, like I said, I like the flavorings in it. And we actually added like a little poultry seasoning, garlic and uh, onion powder to this as well, back when I toasted it. But let's go ahead and get this in here. Get it all in the mix there, guys. All right, guys. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually take my time and come in here and sort of flip it. And like I said, I've got my gloves on. I like to just get my hands on up in here and start mixing it around a bit. All right, guys. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some, I've got Meyer chicken broth here, guys. Uh, this is a 32 ounce, two pound uh, box here, low sodium. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce some of that. 
probably about half. All right, guys. Now, I want to get in here and kind of mix it up again. I love dressing, guys. Now, I bought another box in case this, this ain't going to be wet enough. But, I don't know about some of y'all. A lot of y'all might prefer wet dressing. I kind of like mine kind of crispy. But all this will bake out. We're gonna let her do her thing for roughly about 25 30 minutes and then 30 uh, minutes I'll check 400 degrees with our dressing our stuffing look at that guys I think it's looking mighty mighty fine yum diddly yum all right guys I went ahead and I, I broke out some peas and carrots got to have some greens and I got some uh, chicken gravy there but I went ahead and I put a tent up on our chicken here I'm gonna go ahead and get that in the oven and I'm gonna keep an eye on both of these keep a close eye Nobody wants no dried out bird, do they? All right, guys. We'll be eating in just moments. Got our Sunday feast over to the table now, and I'm here to tell you, look at that. We got that Costco bird that I gave $4.99 for every bit of three pounds or more. We got some peas and carrots, and we got some chicken gravy, and we got some of my homemade dressing, guys, and some of Mama's sweet tater casserole. Man, oh man, oh man, I can't wait to get into this. All right, guys, just bear with me. We're gonna be right back with you. We're plated up. I got a little bit of breast, uh, well, a little bit of wing, and uh, my cornbread dressing. Put some chicken gravy on it. I'm here to tell you it's moist too, guys. Now, I like my outside, like I said, crispy, but uh, I'm here to tell you. All right, guys, let mom dig into her Thanksgiving Christmas meal there. Uh-oh, she's going right for the stuffing. The dressing. Oh, wow. Is it good? That is good. Is it, it, it's moist in the middle? Yeah. A little crispy on the outside? Try some of that chicken. I'm gonna tell you, Costco's got it wrapped up with the chicken now. Mm. Is that moist? Yeah, that's delicious. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Sure All right, you wanna try some of your potato souffle that we did like eight months ago? That one? 217, I think. Mm. 16. Right, yeah. Yeah, Not 2, 17, 16, yeah. Oh. I think. Mm. I know it was back in uh, February. Is that good? Still yeah. tastes good? Yeah. Tastes like the day I made it? Back and back. Mm -mm. All right, guys. I got to go after some of my dressing, too. I love this stuff. Uh oh, and a little. <laughs> Gonna have some souffle with it too. Oh my god. Look at that, guys. Like the one after dinner or something. Ain't it? It's good. Mmm. And guys, I got a ton of it. We'll freeze that back too. None of this will go to waste. I hope y'all ain't getting fed up with my, my leftover stuff, but guys, I'm here to tell you, we utilize all our leftovers. That vacuum sealer is probably one of the best kitchen investments we've ever made. We're on our second one. I love that seasoning they put on there. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see a lot more Costco stuff in this house, guys. Mm. Good gravy. <clears throat> mm. Guys, I'm getting ready to go into hyper mode here. We have a Thanksgiving early. And there we go again. Every time. 
Sorry guys, they were calling to remind mom about a doctor's appointment coming up, so had to answer that and make sure that, uh, you know, you know how you have to click those buttons and everything, but uh, one of those automated calls. But I'm here to tell you guys, this meal is fantastic, guys. Mmm, look at ya. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God in heaven, y'all. But I'm here to tell you, y'all gotta try that dressing now. It's such an easy to make, and I'm here to tell you, it's fantastically delicious. It is next level yum times a billion. And guys, if you don't feel like going through the trouble of uh, actually, uh, baking off or roasting off a, a whole chicken here, I'm here to tell you, Costco is the way to go. I'm here to tell you guys, it, it's, it's freaking fabulous. Mm. Gotta get my healthy in here. Well, all right guys, thank you so very, very much for stopping by and visiting me with me over on Sunday, our Sunday cook y'all, and I appreciate it so much. And I, I, do, I really do enjoy having y'all stop by and visit with me, and I can't wait to talk to y'all real soon. Okay, guys, thank you so very, very much. We'll holler at y'all soon. Take care. Bye.